Our very first trip to Cabo, we came here for our 20th wedding anniversary. We had a great time, came back on a family vacation, and the kids loved it just as much as we did. Actually, our daughter was the first one who asked us, why don't you just sell your house in Dallas and, and move to Cabo? It is a big commitment. We're thinking about uh, getting into, maybe investing in some real estate development projects here. The real estate market is so great. There's tons of opportunities. I want to be all in. I want to get a great place with a, with a spectacular view, with terrific outdoor spaces that we're going to be able to enjoy every day. So I kind of want it all. If we're going to do this, let's go for it. This house is up to the hills, so you have this ocean side, which is very quiet. The location is great. It's just 10 minutes from the beach, and the view is amazing. Welcome to Villa Pitaya. Wow. Thank you. This is not traditional. <laughs> I understand that. But please be open. It's a beautiful five bedroom, five bathroom house. The asking price is a little bit over. It's 2.3, but it's worth it. So your patio is inside the inside, front door. Outside. Oh, and I like the cactus garden. That's great. Wow, these doors are amazing to the courtyard. They open all the way? Yeah, pocket doors. That is so cool. The space is nice and big. It is. What do you think about this marble? It's a little contemporary, modern feel for me. I love it. I love it. I think it's terrific. That is so cool. The jacuzzi, Denise. I'm not seeing anything except these amazing views. This is crazy. Right. I mean, that is absolutely the Pacific view that we were hoping for. The kids will absolutely love this place. They're going to want to move in and not leave. And this is the main bedroom. <laughs> the room is great. The, the bedroom is, uh, is really pretty good on size. I want to see the bathroom, though. OK, let's go check the bathroom, see what you think. Double sinks, I like this. Perfect. And the bathroom is actually pretty big. The showers. What do you think Huge. of the shower? Yeah. This is big. This is a queen bed. We have the bathroom, very similar to the main room with the walk-in closet. So there's two other bedrooms in the house? Yes, there are two other bedrooms, uh, mostly identical to this one. Terrific. And is that a putting green out there that I see? OK, let's go. I'll watch from the swing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at this space, this grass. This space is just ridiculous. I think the house kind of has it all. I love the views, but it's very modern. It's still $2.3 million. Casa Tres Vistas uh, means three views. This is a lovely house. It's very traditional. This is gorgeous. I love this traditional architecture here. Yes. So this is a four bedroom, four bathroom house. Ooh, four, four. bedrooms. Maybe a little small for the family? Well, it's 4,000 square feet. And you know how much is the price? How much? 1.6 million. I like that, Gabby. Right. It's under what we want to spend. OK, welcome to Villa Tres Vistas. Oh, wow. Is this the mountain view? Yes, this is the first view. It's the mountain view when you enter to the house. It's terrific. If you follow me this way, we have this area is the living area, dining and kitchen. And the beams. I love beams. I always like beams. So <laughs> yeah. I'm sold on the beams, definitely. See? So this is the style you were looking, Denise. It's, it's, it's open concept. It's open concept. This is exactly what I'm looking for. This home feels like an authentic Cabo Mexican home that's been here and been lived in. I love it. I really like this kitchen. So there's the views. View number two, right? Amazing. I mean, that view is absolutely beautiful. You can almost see to Land's End. My only concern here is the indoor-outdoor flow. Just one small door there. No sliding glass doors to really open up. But I wish there was a little more indoor-outdoor flow. To make this room work, I'd need to take down the wall from the dining room to the terrace, put in some pocket doors. Welcome to the main bedroom. 
Wow, this is big. Yeah. And it's got the dome ceiling right. again. Cupola. Yeah, and cupola. Spanish. Muy bien, cupola. This may be a little too traditional for me. <laughs> That's traditional? I don't know about that. <laughs> it looks like it's Hugh Hefner's grotto. This is a natural rock, and actually this was part of this land when they built this house. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's different. So I think this is a project for me if we bought this mm. house. We're way better off spending two million plus on a place that doesn't need all this work. I think Denise is gonna like about this house, uh, the traditional style. So I think Greg will love to be near to the ocean. That's why I bring them here. It's only one minute walking to the beach. Welcome to Casa Dorado. It looks gorgeous, Gabby. This is a five bedroom, five bath. Uh, new, it's a newly renovated. Excellent, and how about the price? Well, the price is $2.25 million. Oh, Gabby. <laughs> Are very near to the ocean here, so you're gonna hear the waves crashing. Wow. wow. Look at that. It's your jacuzzi, Denise. Jacuzzi, the pool. Love it, wow. The blue of the pool, the blue of the ocean. Okay. Plenty of space. Everyone will fit out here. Right, this, this space is, is really nice. impressive. Gabby, this is gorgeous. Look how big this is. Yeah. And the domed oh. ceilings. Again, very traditional. I love the furnishings and the floor. The floor is awesome. Yeah. This marble. It's, everything is marble, yeah. Everything is marble here, OK? Even the, the, the island is marble. It's perfect. I perfect. think the kitchen is really perfect. Wow, this is a big room. I like this. All right, and it's right off the terrace. So far, this one's winning. Yeah, and, and it's the same. It's a pocket door also. Wow, the marble. I the walls are marble. marble. Yeah, exactly. It goes all the way up. And I like this color. Oh, Greg. Oh, yeah, that's going to work for you. You got enough space in there, you think? In the built-ins, yes. Main bedroom number two. Yeah, main bedroom number two. Nice. Hmm, a little bit smaller. Same here, pocket doors. Okay. Okay. The more I think about it, this view, it's nice, but it's not ideal. It's not really what I'm looking for, for this kind of money. I agree. I think for this much money, I want a spectacular view. The terrace is really nice. It's got my barbecue. Frankly, I think the jacuzzi is a little bit small. The house has the big open living area, dining room, kitchen that I want in a house. I can fit all of my family here. I'm not sure how I feel about the price. Always with the price. Yes. <laughs> now that I've seen this place, I'm not really sure I want to be that close to the beach. I know this place is more expensive because it's so close to the beach. I'm just not sure it's worth it. Which one do you see yourself in? Via Pitaya, 2.3 million. I don't know about that price. Yeah, but that house, views from where? Like every room. This is crazy. Right? I mean, that is absolutely the Pacific view that we were hoping for. But that was the one that was super modern. There were not any traditional touches in the house itself. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. We've got Casa Tres Vistas, the three views. Oh, yes. The price was right price for you. The price is right for me. This is the traditional Mexican style that I really wanted. <laughs> this feels like Mexico. A few big projects in that one. Probably yeah. some renovation. Oh. Casa Dorado. That was the one that was only one minute walk to the beach. Wow, Gabby, this is gorgeous. And the domed oh, ceilings. Again, very traditional. So it's still over what we wanted to spend but the living area in that one was huge. I think we're moving to Cabo for the views. Yeah, and Casa Dorado, for that price. I think we agree. Casa Tres Vistas has the three views that are amazing. Land's End from the kitchen every morning. OK, I'll give you that. There's going to be some projects, and I don't mind the projects at all. Yeah, your projects, we might end up spending more than we think. Oh, I could spend some money on projects. You know how expensive dynamite is? <laughs> OK, so then what about Via Pitaya? I'm in love with Via Pitaya, OK? That's, that's my house. 
What about the indoor outdoor space in there? We don't need any projects in that house. Maybe we could try something a little more modern. We're starting a new adventure. It feels terrific to finally have our home in Cabo, waking up here every morning to the ocean views. It's like being on vacation every day. Good call, hun. Love you. The kids come down as often as they can, and they both love it here. They've staked a claim on a room. Definitely all worth it. I would do it again. Best decision we've ever made.